Hey guys, what's going on and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I am testing out the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer along with the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer. And I'm also going to be testing the Brow Lift along with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Freeze. When it comes to duping some of the high-end luxury makeup products, e.l.f. is doing a great job right now. And uh, yeah, we are going to be testing out side by side just to see how these work on my oily, greasy skin. So, if you have not already, then do not forget the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it. It's notified whenever I upload. And now, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so I have a super zoomed you guys in. The hair is tied back and my skin is completely bare except for the lipstick, of course. And we are going to first go is with the primers. So the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is finally available in India. I got mine off of Nykaa and this is priced at 1,200 rupees for 24 ml of product. And the Milk Hydro Grip Primer is not available in India. However, this is priced at $36 for 45 ml of product. That is the full size version of it. Now, as per the conversion, it will come to approximately 2955 rupees just approximately however the one that i have is the 10 ml product which is the mini size version and this is 18 dollars which is still expensive than the elf one because elf is like 24 ml this one is 10 ml and the price conversion wise it'll come to approximately 1477 rupees so even the mini size version is still more expensive than the elf one now just to give it a fair shot i am removing any excess oil on my face before I start my makeup this is how I usually do it because I'm super oily so this much of oil has come out already which is kind of okay now on this side of my face I'm gonna go with the elf products and uh, yeah pump it comes with a pump which is great <laughs> so I've taken one pump first it is quite liquidy and thick just a little bit more around my forehead region it's quite tacky now I'm going to let this sit while I finish the other side. I'm just going to wipe my hands. I don't like having makeup products on my hands. So yeah. And this is the milk makeup one. Okay. Now the first impression wise, the e.l.f. one is a bit more liquidy compared to the Milk Makeup one and they both are quite tacky. However, the Milk Makeup one became tacky much more faster than the e.l.f. one, if that makes sense. And both of these primer do not claim to like minimize pore. However, it does help in gripping the makeup to make it more long lasting with hydration. So that's why today I'm going to be using a foundation that does not work on my oily skin and recently I reviewed the K-Beauty Hydrating Foundation which has a beautiful finish but it does not last on my oily greasy skin so we are going to see how long this will last. And just to give it a fair shot I'm going to use two different foundation brush on each side. Okay, with the foundation on, I feel that the Milk Makeup side is a little bit more dewy than the e.l.f. side. Now, the foundation is already like a dewy foundation, but I feel it's a little bit more dewy on this side than on this side. What do you guys think? Oh, and the time right now is 11 a.m., so... Yeah. Now this foundation actually lasts for like about only three hours like in two and a half hours I start becoming super oily in my t-zone and then my whole face becomes super oily by three hours time So let's see how long the foundation lasts Okay, so I have added the concealer loose powder and a matte powder blush and uh, let's move on to the eyebrows Now the elf brow lift this is priced at 690 rupees for 8.8 .8 grams of product wherein the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Brow freeze this is priced at 2990 rupees for 8 grams of product now I got the Anastasia one a while back and at that time the fluffy eyebrows was like everything I saw that everywhere and hence I got it I have used it a couple of times even in my videos but not that much but then recently I tried to find this product because it was buried in my makeup and uh, when I found it and opened it 
the gel sort of the consistency of it became liquid like for example i cannot show you guys right now because it will pour down because that's what happened when i open it it just poured when i bought it it was like a proper gel like consistency but right now it's more like a very jelly sort of a consistency i'll probably take a better video of it and insert it so you guys can understand what i'm talking about now this is the brow lift by elf and this is exactly how the abh brow freeze also looked like when i initially bought it but just that it has become all liquidy now oh and also the abh one i kept it in the refrigerator just so that it's not super liquidy and it's kind of like a jelly form right now but yeah just fii and also neither of the products come with any applicator or anything so i already have like a bunch of spoolies like these which i got off of amazon so yeah we're gonna use that today you can use like any spoolie that you have and uh, i also have is the elf uh the brow spoolie which comes with this flat applicator so this flat applicator i am going to use it for both the sides just to flatten it out but the spoolie end of it i'm just going to use the individual fresh spoolie that i have so with this fresh spoolie for both of them i'm going to curve it up a bit so that it's easier to work with the eyebrows now i'm going to go with the elf one first on the side so from the end part of the spoolie i took some of the product and uh, just going to brush it in the opposite direction of my eyebrows now my eyebrows are very fine very thin and light and it does not stay up at all uh so yeah we are gonna see how this works i'll zoom you guys in a bit more now i'm gonna take the flat end of this elf brow brush and uh, just flatten it out okay so this is how fluffy it looks on my eyebrows right now but yeah let's see how long this will last the time is about 11 17 am right now i'm going to wipe off this one because i'm going to use the same thing to flatten out for the anastasia beverly hills one as well so i'm going to take another fresh spoolie curve it a bit like so okay so i have taken a bit of the product in the end of my spoolie same as earlier i'm going to take the flat end of this and press it down Okay, so this is the Elf one and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills one. Now, it has been only a couple of minutes since I applied it and I already feel the Elf one is kind of coming down, especially in the front area. It's not holding up my eyebrows. Now, these eyebrows, they are very stubborn. They do not want to be fluffy at all, but uh, let's see how it lasts. The time is around 11.24 a.m. and I have also taken a picture of both the sides just to see side by side how they look throughout the day. But this is how it looks up close. Oh, and also I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup. Now, I'm not going to add any other eyebrow product on my eyebrows because I want to see how the gel lasts through the day so okay so the rest of my makeup is done i have kept it to the very basic so for eyeshadow i used a very light brown eyeshadow with some eyeliner mascara i skipped on my falsies today and also no eyebrow product like i mentioned earlier and this is how everything looks like so far the time is about 11 37 a.m and i'll just quickly zoom you guys in because this is one thing that i noticed one quick unfortunate thing that i noticed is that the elf one especially around this side is already come down to my normal eyebrow shape it's not fluffy at all but 
the end portion of it it is still holding up so yeah that is one thing the abh side is completely fine just the way how it was but it is kind of sad because it's not even been 15 minutes since i applied the eyebrow products and it's already gone down so yeah okay so i'll see you guys in about three hours just to see how everything is holding up hey guys i'm back and the time right now is 206 pm a little over three hours since i applied the foundation so i'll just quickly zoom you guys in and show you how everything looks like okay so my oil has come through however on this side where i use the elf one is a little less oily than the milk hydro grip primer so i don't know i hope you guys can see you can especially see it around this area on how oily this side is compared to this side like my forehead is equally shiny and oily and so is my chin area there is no much of a difference the main difference that i can see is only around the cheek area where this side is a little less oily than this side so yeah and coming to the eyebrows the abh one is still kind of holding on and it's not that bad it is almost exactly the same as i initially applied it however the elf one at that time itself the starting part of my eyebrows came back to its normal shape wherein the end part of it it is still a little bit fluffy and it is kind of okay but yeah so i'm planning to wait another hour or two for my final thoughts and then i will be back so the time right now is 4 3 pm and this is how oily i am now let me quickly super zoom you guys in and show you what's happening okay so i have reduced the brightness and zoomed you guys in a bit more and both my cheeks are oily no denying on that however i feel that this side is a bit more extra oily compared to this side and even the pose on this side seems to be a little bit more emphasized than this side and now for the eyebrows i feel that the anastasia one has a better hold like i feel a little bit of it has come down like over here alone but here on onwards i feel it is still pretty fine like how it was initially applied wherein the elf one was a bit disappointing because this one came all the way down to how my usual eyebrow shape is however the end or the tail of my eyebrow is fluffy like how it was when i initially applied so yeah now just for shits and giggles i'm going to use two fresh blotting sheets and use it on the either side just to see which one is more oily than the other so yeah almost one whole blotting sheet for the elf side so this is the milk makeup side and this is the elf one and uh, like i said there is a little bit more oil on the milk makeup compared to the elf one so yeah okay so for my final thoughts let's first go over with the eyebrows now in just 10 15 minutes i was able to figure out which one worked the best and that was the abh one because the hold it is still there there is no issue at all even after all the oil that came through wherein the elf one in literally just 15 20 minutes time my straight eyebrows came back to its normal shape however the end tail portion of it it is still holding up which is good but not to the expectations and also bear in mind that the abh one it is a bit old and it's not in its original form it's literally liquid i honestly thought it's not going to work but it worked like a charm way better than the freshly purchased elf one so if you ask me to choose from either one of these two product it is the abh one however i do not know how it will be on a thick or bushy eyebrows that people already have so yeah i cannot comment on that but on my eyebrows the abh one worked much more better and now for the primer the foundation that i used i have mentioned before so it literally lasts on me for only about two and a half to three hours and then i become oily and even after using these primers my face was still oily however the one with the milk makeup hydro grip primer was a little bit more oilier than the elf side and the elf side was also a bit more smoother than the milk makeup side i don't think either of the product has helped a lot when it comes to the longevity probably like a 0.5 percent higher was the elf one again i cannot comment or have an opinion if you have dry skin or normal skin this is just my take on my oily greasy ass skin now out of the two personally i would pick is the elf one which is also 
also very cost effective for the quantity that you get and also it did a decent job compared to the milk one but if you ask me on an overall picture i may not use this primer rather i will pair it up with another mattifying primer or just use another primer the only primer that i can think at the moment right now is their matte putty primer not the universal one but the matte one so yeah this finally wrapped today's video you guys i hope you all enjoyed it and if you did do not forget to subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it so notified whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try and better for you as well as follow me on my socials which nair on instagram and which nair on twitter as well so until next time take care bye